write a sentence using the word skeleton and add to an informational paragraph. So we're gonna add to our paragraph just like we started yesterday. The Alaska Reads Act really is an intent to get all of our students reading by the end of third grade. There's plenty of research that out there that shows that students who aren't proficient readers by the end of third grade are more likely to drop out of high school. They are less likely to be able to find a job that will be able to support their families. Students need to be proficient readers in this society to continue on. Our students who are proficient readers will get to do electives in high school. If they're not proficient readers, they're going to end up having to take extra reading classes instead of being able to do PE or band or art. And we want our kids to enjoy school. We want them reading. The cat bandit ran into the deck. With the law came a new testing, that, a new benchmarking system that we're using called M-Class. Um, and then also with the law is that students who are scoring at below proficient or far below proficient, every one of those students are going to need something called a TIF or a targeted intervention plan, which really spells out for parents and teachers what the school district is going to do to help support all of our kinder through third grade students to be proficient readers by the end of third grade. Always stick, stick with you, read what you say has. Thanks to a grant from the state, our district was able to purchase a new reading curriculum based on the science of reading. It's called CKLA. Um, you'll find that it's different, especially in grades K1 and 2, really in third grade as well, because we're really working on developing background knowledge. We're working on making sure kids have the ability to speak about what they're reading about. So that we're spending time on skills, making sure that kids can decode and pronounce words. But we also want kids to understand what they're reading and why they're reading it. And be able to discuss it with you know their peers with other adults with teachers and and that's really a focus of this program is is getting kids to talk and getting kids to understand and enjoy what they're learning about a silly boyish amusement i think the biggest thing that parents are going to find is we're giving more information than ever and we're really trying to find ways that parents can support their kids and support their schools in helping kids become better readers by providing that at home information. There will be at least one if not two sometimes a letter that goes home every single day that parents will be able to see so you can know what the students are learning about both within the skills section and the knowledge section so uh, for example first graders at the end of the year are going to learn about the war of 1812. Well, if you don't know about the War of 1812, there's going to be a letter coming home that tells you about the War of 1812 and then gives you some questions on what you can do, what you can ask your students so that you can have that conversation with them. Uh, so it's all really, again, more about information and what it is you can do to support readers at home. Read to your child. It's just as important for you to read to your child as your child to read by themselves. And so find that fun book, turn on a book and tape, but listen to it together. So anytime that you can get literacy going in your home, works for everybody. Mm -hmm.